more questions about how Suffolk County became the target of a massive cyber attack that's still impacting county services today. News 12 has learned that county lawmakers allocated millions of dollars to the IT department earlier this year for security upgrades. News 12 Long Island's investigative reporter Rachel Young Kunis looks into whether any of those projects were implemented before the attack. This cyber breach has crippled Suffolk County services, but months before the attack, the county's IT commissioner touted their cybersecurity measures at a committee meeting on proposed funding for the IT department. We have significant safeguards in place um, that is positioned as well uh, against any potential attack. That's Suffolk County IT Commissioner Scott Mastelon six months before the county's massive cyber attack. At this legislative committee hearing in March, Mastelon requested $4 million from lawmakers for technology upgrades, computer replacements, and a disaster recovery project. These capital projects will all have a positive impact on our ability to further implement and extend safeguards. Lawmakers approved that funding on March 8th. Now, a special legislative committee will investigate the breach, including how those tax dollars were spent. Bring in experts, hire, hire our own experts to look at this, bring in people and, and subpoena them if necessary to get to the bottom of what went wrong. IT administrators started meeting weekly after a ransomware attack against a county vendor back in December. Commissioner Massillon outlined employee training exercises like simulated cyber attacks, but why didn't these precautions protect the county? It's not a witch hunt. It's really an investigation to make sure that we solidify all our cybersecurity defenses to make sure it doesn't happen to us or to somebody else. A spokesperson for the county executive's office says they are looking into possibly getting cyber insurance. They are still in the process of restoring services and have not said how many services remain offline. Reporting in Suffolk County, I'm Rachel Young Kunis, News 12 Long Island.